struggling to lose that stubborn belly fat like this? You might think that you've heard it all when it comes to losing weight, but stick with me. Today, we're not just talking about generic weight loss advice. We're zeroing in on belly fat, why it's tough to lose, why it matters, and most importantly, what you can do to effectively destroy it. We'll also be busting some myths and setting the record straight on what truly works. Because let's face it, when it comes to belly fat, there's just no magic pill. But there is a science to it. But before we figure out how to lose belly fat, let's take a moment to understand what we're up against. So what exactly is belly fat? Understanding belly fat, first of all, Belly fat isn't just about aesthetics. It's a health concern that can have serious implications. So there are two main types of fat in your belly area. Subcutaneous fat, which is a layer of fat that you can pinch with your fingers, sitting just beneath the skin. It pretty much looks like this on the inside. And the second type is what we call visceral fat, which is deeper inside, wrapping around your vital organs. So which among these two is worse? While both types can be concerning, it's visceral fat that poses the bigger threat to your health. It's linked to a higher risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and even certain types of cancer. A recent study, the investigation of SGLT2 inhibitors on cardiometabolic health by SC Yanos in 2024, brings to light the critical connection between BMI, body fat, and visceral fat percentage with increased health risks. This research underscores the importance of managing visceral fat to not just enhance our appearance, but significantly improve our cardiometabolic health. But here's the thing, everyone has some belly fat, and that's perfectly normal. The problem arises when we have too much of it. So what causes excess belly fat? It's a mix of factors, including poor diet, lack of exercise, stress, and genetics. Understanding these factors is the first step towards making a change. And yes, while genetics do play a role, there's a lot within your control. Now that we know what belly fat is and why it's important to manage it, you might be wondering, can we target belly fat directly? The short answer is no. There's no way to target weight loss to specific body parts. But don't be discouraged. Through a combination of diet, exercise, and lifestyle changes, you can reduce overall body fat, including belly fat. And the benefits of reducing belly fat extend far beyond just improving your physical appearance. Reducing belly fat can significantly improve your cardiovascular health, reduce inflammation, enhance your energy levels, and boost your overall well-being. And that's exactly what we're going to dive into next, the science behind fat loss. Now that we've established the what and why of belly fat, let's talk about the how. How does your body actually lose fat? It all starts with understanding fat metabolism and the crucial role calories play in this process. So at its core, fat loss boils down to a simple equation, calories in versus calories out. Your body needs energy to function, and it gets this energy from the food you eat. If you consume more calories than your body needs, it stores the excess as fat. Conversely, if you consume fewer calories than your body requires, it turns to these fat stores for energy, leading to fat loss. This brings us to some common myths about belly fat reduction. One of the biggest myths is the idea of spot reduction, that you can lose fat in just one specific area of your body by targeting it with certain exercises. Unfortunately, this isn't how our bodies work. In fact, a study from the Biology of Sport in 2023 sheds light on this matter on genetics and its impact on fat loss. The research discusses how genetic polymorphisms affect changes in body mass and composition following exercise. It suggests that genetics play a crucial role in determining fat loss and body composition changes rather than the specific area targeted by exercise. Which brings us to the importance of a holistic approach to losing belly fat. It's not just about diet or exercise alone. It's about combining healthy eating, regular physical activity, stress management, and good sleep habits. We're going to dive deeper into this later on. So, if you're serious about saying goodbye to belly fat, it's time to look at the big picture. Making sustainable lifestyle changes will not only help you reduce belly fat, but also improve your overall health and well-being. 
Armed with the science of fat loss, let's now move on to explore the key strategies that can help you effectively destroy belly fat. Key strategies for destroying belly fat. Now that you got a solid understanding of what belly fat is and the science behind fat loss, it's time to arm you with the key strategies to effectively destroy belly fat. As promised, here are some proven methods, but note that they require consistency and dedication. First, let's talk about nutritional adjustments. To lose fat, you don't need to stop eating all your favorite foods or try a new diet trend. It's all about making smart choices. You want to eat foods that are good for you and give you the energy you need without eating too many calories. A study called in 2023 tells us that eating foods that are good for you helps people lose weight by not eating too many calories or carbs. This means eating lots of vegetables, fruits, proteins like chicken or beans, and good fats like those in nuts or fish. Incorporating a variety of vegetables and fruits into your diet ensures that you get a wide range of vitamins and minerals essential for metabolic health and weight management. For example, leafy greens like spinach and kale are high in iron and vitamins A, C, and K, while berries are rich in antioxidants and vitamin C. Lean proteins such as chicken breast, tofu, and legumes provide essential amino acids needed for muscle repair and growth which is vital for a healthy metabolism. Healthy fats found in avocados, nuts, seeds, and oily fish like salmon are crucial for maintaining cellular health and providing energy. It's also important to not eat too much. This means eating less food than your body uses up. This way, your body starts to use the fat it has stored for energy. But you don't want to eat too little either because that can make your body hold on to fat instead of using it. Second, let's talk about intermittent fasting. This way of eating has become really popular and for good reasons. It's not just a passing diet trend, but a change in how you eat that can help you control how many calories you eat and make your body work better. A lot of people like the 16-8 method. This means that you don't eat for 16 hours and then you just have this eight hour window where you can eat. Take a look at this study. This shows us why the 16-8 intermittent fasting is so great. They looked at different ways of doing intermittent fasting, including the 16-8 method, and found it can really help with things like blood sugar, liver health, body measurements, and other health signs. This shows us that not eating for certain times can help control calorie intake and make your metabolism better. This can help you lose weight, make your body use insulin better, which is super important for keeping your blood sugar levels stable, and might even help you live longer. Third, physical activity. Exercise is crucial, not just for burning calories, but also for improving your overall health. A combination of cardio and strength training is key. Cardio exercises like walking, running, or cycling help burn fat, while strength training builds muscle, which can increase your resting metabolic rate. Remember, the goal is to burn more calories, including those stubborn fat stores, not just to target belly fat through specific exercises. As emphasized in this study, strength training is very effective for overall health, including fat loss and metabolic rate improvement. It shows that resistance training can increase lean weight, enhance resting metabolic rate, and reduce fat gain. This supports the idea that a combination of cardio and strength training is beneficial for burning fat and improving health. <laughs> Lastly, lifestyle changes are essential. It's crucial to not overlook the impact of sleep and stress management on your health and weight. This study reveals how not getting enough sleep can influence your body's energy use, food choices, and lead to weight gain. This happens because when you're short on sleep, it messes with your metabolism and the hormones that tell you when you're hungry or full. This can make you eat more and choose less healthy foods, contributing to weight gain. Poor sleep and high stress levels can lead to hormonal imbalances that actually encourage your body to hold on to fat. To combat this, aim for seven to nine hours of good sleep every night. Also, finding ways to reduce stress is vital. Techniques like meditation, yoga, or just taking time to unwind and do things you love can help manage stress. Keeping those fat storing hormones in check. Combining these strategies, nutritional adjustments, intermittent fasting, physical activity, and lifestyle changes will set you on the path to not just losing belly fat, but improving your overall health and quality of life. Implementing changes for long-term success. Now that we've outlined the key strategies for destroying belly fat, how are you going to make sure that you're following these changes? Before we proceed, here's what you need to understand. 
Success isn't achieved overnight, but through gradual, consistent efforts. Start small. You don't need to overhaul your entire lifestyle in one day. Begin by making minor adjustments to your diet, slowly incorporating more physical activity into your routine, or trying intermittent fasting a couple of days a week. For instance, swap out processed foods for whole foods one meal at a time. Take a 10-minute walk daily and gradually increase the duration. Or begin a 12-hour fasting window before attempting longer periods. Consistency is key. It's about what you do most of the time, not what you do some of the time. Small, consistent actions lead to significant changes over time. And remember, be patient with yourself. Progress may be slow, and there will be ups and downs. What matters is that you keep moving forward. Set realistic goals that you can achieve and build upon. Of course, you have to listen to what your body tells you as well. Everybody's body responds differently to dietary changes, exercise routines, and lifestyle adjustments. So pay attention to how your body reacts and adjust accordingly. If you're feeling fatigued or stressed, it might be a sign to ease up and give your body some time to adapt. Nutrition and exercise should enhance your life, not add stress to it. Most importantly, set realistic, measurable goals. Instead of focusing solely on losing belly fat, aim for broader health goals like improving your cardiovascular fitness, gaining strength, or enhancing your mental well-being. Celebrate the small victories along the way, whether it's noticing more energy throughout the day, sleeping better, or feeling stronger during workouts. These are all signs of progress. Remember, the journey to a healthier you involves a blend of nutrition, intermittent fasting, physical activity, and vital lifestyle adjustments like like improving sleep and managing stress.